In an unprecedented development, Saudi Arabia and Iran recently completed a joint naval exercise in the Sea of Oman. This exercise, confirmed by Saudi Defense Ministry spokesperson Brigadier General Turki al Malki, marks a monumental shift as both nations set aside nearly a decade of tense relations to come together on a military platform. The collaboration hints at new possibilities for maritime security dynamics in the region, given each country's distinct naval capabilities and strategic priorities. Iran's naval fleet, with around 272 vessels, including 19 submarines, is far larger than Saudi Arabia's. However, it's not just the size but the composition and strategic design of Iran's navy that shape its regional presence. The Iranian fleet, especially the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy, IRGCN, is tailored for rapid and versatile operations within the constrained waters of the Persian Gulf. This force comprises fast attack craft and midget submarines designed for asymmetric warfare, with tactics centered around anti-access slash area denial, A2 slash AD. By employing smaller, agile vessels equipped with missiles, Iran leverages swarm tactics that pose a formidable challenge even to larger, technologically advanced navies. Iran's primary naval strategy involves countering U.S. presence and maintaining control over critical maritime routes, particularly the Strait of Hormuz, a vital oil transit point. Iran's partnerships with nations like Russia further support its strategic objectives, fortifying its ability to project influence over Gulf waters through guerrilla tactics. This positioning is key to Iran's naval doctrine, which emphasizes deterrence and influence across Gulf maritime routes. While Saudi Arabia's naval fleet is smaller, around 34 ships including 11 frigates and 9 corvettes, it focuses heavily on advanced, high-tech vessels supplied by Western allies, notably the United States and Europe. This focus aligns with Saudi Arabia's broader strategic goals, to secure the Red Sea coastline, protect vital trade routes, and ensure the safety of oil exports. Although Saudi Arabia's fleet lacks submarines, which limits its undersea capabilities, its emphasis on quality over quantity is underscored by a substantial defense budget of $69 billion, in contrast to Iran's $25 billion. Saudi Arabia's naval doctrine is deeply integrated with the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, and its Western alliances, particularly with the United States, enable it to pursue a defense strategy focused on regional stability. These partnerships have historically supported Saudi efforts to counter Iranian influence, particularly around the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. However, recent diplomatic breakthroughs, including improved relations with Iran, suggest a potential shift toward collaboration, opening new doors for joint security initiatives. The joint naval exercise between Saudi Arabia and Iran could mark the beginning of new strategic and operational dynamics in the region. Both navies bring unique strengths, Iran with its asymmetrical approach and robust fleet, and Saudi Arabia with its high-tech assets and strong international support. By collaborating, the two nations could influence the security architecture of the region, particularly in the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman. Saudi Arabia's historically defensive stance, combined with Iran's assertive approach to Gulf security, has created a complex environment for maritime operations. However, this exercise may symbolize a growing willingness to bridge these differences and explore cooperative security. Should such joint efforts continue, they may enhance mutual understanding and reduce the risk of escalation in an area known for its geopolitical tensions. The joint naval exercise between Saudi Arabia and Iran represents a significant diplomatic and strategic development, reflecting both countries' evolving approach to regional security. By bringing together distinct naval capabilities, this collaboration holds the potential to reshape maritime security in the Gulf and beyond, fostering a new era of cautious cooperation between two historically adversarial powers. Whether this will lead to enduring cooperation or simply mark a temporary truce remains to be seen, but for now, the exercise stands as a testament to the shifting sands of Middle Eastern geopolitics. Mm -hmm.